Hello, Butters. How are you today? Someone just had their lunch. Hmm? You're looking for a toy, aren't you? You're looking for a toy to play with? Do you want to come to Crystal's with Mommy? <laughs> I feel like that's the last place she'd want to go. Well, hello, friends. Welcome to another vlog. I alluded to this vlog in a, in a previous... What video was it? Oh, my prepping for Milan video. And I actually have to go back to Prada today because they tailored that dress, that ombre shirt dress. So I'm going to go and try it on and make sure it fits. And I also have this shirt. Do you guys remember this shirt? This is the Prada shirt that I got when I was in Milan last year. So it has like a white cotton poplin body, but the sleeves are black nylon and it is too big. It's too big on me. So we're gonna take that in and then I have some shopping to do at Chanel, <laughs> which I'm excited for. Um, they got some handbags transferred into the store for me. They arrived over the weekend, so they're holding it for me. Uh, so I told them I'd be in today. So that's what we're doing today. And afterwards, I've got to run some errands, you know, just do regular house stuff. So it's going to be a busy day. Right, Butters? Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet baby. How are you? This little girl had me up at 2.30 last night. Someone had the poopsies. She had the poopsies and then mommy couldn't go back to sleep. I cleaned her off and she went right back to sleep, just snoring away, and I was wide awake. <laughs> so I'm a little tired right now, but no biggie, as long as you're feeling okay, little butters. Okay, I'm procrastinating. All right, let's head on out to the strip. Okay, back in the Prada dressing room. <laughs> feel like I spend a lot of time in here, but I'm gonna put on my shirt so they can alter it. Okay, so this is the shirt that I got in Milan last summer when I was there, and uh, it was pretty much like right when I got back from that trip, maybe a month or two later that I started working out with my trainer. So this is like an oversized tunic style shirt. It's straight across the bottom and it has these side vents. So it's not really meant to be tucked in. I mean, of course you can tuck it in if you want, but it's it's kind of like a straight cut. Anyway, it's just, you know, it was oversized to begin with and now it's just too, it's just too big. There's just too much going on. And now that it hangs so far off my shoulders, the sleeves are like way too long. You can see how crunched up they are. So I'm hoping they can bring it, like bring it all in. So shoe has inspired me. Shoe's uniform has a, a tie. And I thought, you know, I really like that look. And so they've pulled out this green tie for me and we're gonna try it on with this shirt. It's very long, but it's too short to be a dress. I just don't know how I would wear it, but let's, let's try it on with the, uh, the tie. Here's the look. I'm trying to figure out, do we tailor the bottom off? Do we keep it? So we're gonna try it with my, my gray wool pleated skirt. With the sexy slit. With the sexy slit. <laughs> All right, here is the whole look. I actually love it. <laughs> I love neckties. Uh, the only problem is the shirt is so long that you can see in the slit. Okay, now we're, now we're being silly. We're just playing around. We were talking about these flatter sunglasses and how they need to be worn down at the end of your nose. <laughs> Uh, this color is really cool, though. Right? We're putting together a whole look. I'm getting in trouble, guys. We've done it again. <laughs> They've done it again. Look how cute this is. And it does come with a crossbody strap. But the strap is too much with this particular outfit. It's cute with this clutch, though. Which kind of, like, I don't know, I like this play between, like, masculine, feminine. This is a little bit more feminine, but the bag itself is very yeah. masculine. Especially if you put a kitten heel. Okay, I'm gonna get the shirt and the tie because I think that'll be a really, really cute look. Uh, but we're gonna get this shirt shortened because it's just, it's too long. It's, it's like almost down to my knees, but it's too short to be a dress. So, <laughs> so we're gonna shorten it. I think we're gonna take like one button off here and that'll be good. It'll be easy to tuck into pants and skirts that way. Hey, 
kitty. Mommy's home. Hi, did you miss me? Did you miss me? <gasps> what you doing? What you doing? Well, I had a very successful shopping trip. Can't wait to share with you what I got at Chanel. And I did end up getting that shirt and the tie at Prada. They have to shorten that shirt. I talked all about this in the dressing room, so I'm gonna shut up. Anyway, Gabby, who helps me at Prada, she's gonna be bringing all the stuff to my house uh, in a couple of days. They had to like clean the dress and we'll wait for that alteration, blah, 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 blah. They're gonna be altering my white shirt with the nylon sleeves. She's gonna be bringing it all over. So um, I don't know if that'll be in this vlog, <laughs> maybe in the next one. Just drag this out, this whole like prepping for Milan, Prada shopping stuff. But my husband and I actually have to run some errands now. We've gotta pick up some dry cleaning, do some grocery shopping, exciting stuff. And then when I am back, I'll show you what I got at Chanel. Well, hello friends. I am back to show you what I got at Chanel. It is the next day, which is why I look different. But I did wanna talk about my Prada shopping trip and just all of the Prada shopping trips. So, you know, I've been going and it's been sort of piecemeal. So I apologize for like the disorganization of all of like the, the Prada hauls and whatever, but you know, I just wanted to take you guys along for the ride as I prep to go to Milan for the runway show. And you know, I've never done this before. So I just didn't know how it was gonna pan out. I kind of forgot that of course, things would have to be tailored, so I'd be showing them to you in the store, but then I wouldn't have them. Anyway, I went to the Prada store to simply get my uh, shirt tailored. So the one I was talking about, the white one with the black nylon sleeves, I wanted to get that taken in. And then uh, they had told me that the ombre shirt dress, the silk shirt dress that I got, uh, the alterations were complete. So they had shortened the sleeves because they were too long the alterations were complete. So when I got there, they took they took in, you know, my white shirt with the black nylon sleeves, great. And then when they brought out the ombre shirt dress, we noticed that there was like um, a couple spots on the sleeve. So they sent that out to get cleaned, uh, great. So I don't have that. And then I got that white shirt with the green tie and uh, that shirt had to be tailored. Anyway, long story short, apologies, too late. Uh, I'm going to be getting all of the pieces in from Prada probably tomorrow. Uh, someone's going to be dropping them all off for me, all the tailored pieces and everything. And then what I'm going to do is just do a video of like the outfits that I plan on bringing and wearing while I'm in Milan and figuring out what am I going to wear to the fashion show? What am I going to wear to the Reese? What am I going to wear to the meal or the cocktail party or whatever they have, we actually haven't even gotten a full itinerary yet. So I don't know if we're gonna be having a lunch or a dinner or, or a cocktail party or something while we're over there. So I do feel very, very comfortable now that I have at least like three or four ready to go outfits, outfits I feel very comfortable in, outfits that I think that are like appropriate for the occasion. So I'm very, very excited. So I just apologize for all of uh, <laughs> the trips and the footage from Prada like over the past few weeks. It really has been very disorganized. So I've never really shopped, obviously I've never really shopped for this particular occasion. I've never been to a Prada runway show. And when you're shopping for a particular occasion as opposed to like, oh, I just wanna see what's new in store and maybe something will you know, strike my fancy. There's just all these other considerations I felt like I had to take into account shopping for these specific situations one of which is like, am I gonna to be too hot? Is this appropriate? Am I gonna wear this outside of this particular event? So there's just a lot of like hemming and hawing and backing and forthing and like, am I getting this, am I not? And then everything has to be like tailored, whatever. You get my drift. I apologize, it's been disorganized. I will have one like wrap up video to show you all the things I got and the outfits that I plan on wearing and definitely bringing to Milan. So, oh, one thing I wanted to mention, I didn't get the green bag that I tried on with the white shirt and the green tie. So that skirt was the skirt that I've had that they tailored for me. So that's why they had it and it was in store and it was perfect for that outfit. And then the shoes I got to go with the ombre shirt dress, those like cream colored, uh, like low heeled pumps. And then I was holding that green bag. I love that green bag, but I was also getting the cream colored bag, which would go well with that outfit as well. So I just didn't think I needed it, but it just, oh, every time I look at the selfie I took, I just, my eye goes straight to that green bag. I'm like, oh, maybe I should get it. So I haven't picked it up. I may, I may still pick that 
that green bag out because it's just it's another piece that I know I will wear and use outside of this you know whole Milan <laughs> extravaganza but anyway I just wanted to explain that as well all right let me show you what I got at Chanel I actually did uh like a shorts slash IG reel slash TikTok unboxing this stuff which I thought was great because you guys don't want to sit here and watch me like unpack and untissue paper everything so I did get a pair of shoes and I got a handbag I saw this handbag on Instagram and I was like, is this an old bag? I had not seen this bag or whatever. So I did a search and it's actually part of the Coco Beach, the Chanel Coco Beach 2024 collection. So I, of course, messaged my uh, client advisor at, at Chanel and I said, do you guys have this bag? They didn't, you know, cause I hadn't seen it in store. I walk by Chanel. Every time I go to Prada, I have to walk by Chanel. <laughs> course I always turn in and look all the handbags are right in the front so I hadn't seen it and I actually hadn't seen this anywhere except on this one random like Instagram post and so I asked you know my client advisor they were gonna transfer it in there aren't many like each store only had like one and she said there's a really high chance that it sells before she puts the transfer request in anyway she was able to get her hands on it for me I'm so so happy um, but I did take some footage of some of the other bags I was considering. So let me just show you the one that I got. I ended up getting the striped duffel bag. I took all of the stuffing out, but there you can see the side. It is a cylindrical shaped bag. You guys know how much I love. I love my cylindrical shaped bags. This is like my fourth or fifth cylindrical shape bag that I've purchased over the past few years. Anyway, um, it is a little bit on the larger size for bags that I've been purchasing lately. You know, here in Las Vegas, I don't need a large uh, bag necessarily for like all of my everyday things. However, for when I'm traveling and when I do go back to New York, I do need a larger bag. Oh, I just realized I still have some of the protective tape on here. Let me take that off. But, oh, if you guys caught my luxury handbag video, um, I did mention how most of my Chanel bags are of some leather, Cap the caviar leather, lambskin, goatskin. And the bags that I think really stand out and are really, really special are the ones that aren't necessarily of a leather. Like, I really love that small flap bag that I have that's of the tweed, uh, that black and white tweed with the black whip stitching around it. I just think that bag is so special. I love it. And that denim bag that was stolen from me, I loved that bag. It was just a regular flat bag, but it had like a washed like gray uh, denim and it had this like uh, really interesting like tile print on it. Anyway, I loved, loved, loved that bag. And actually it was when I was going through my handbags during that handbag collection video, I realized I was like, I need more like, of the fabric kind of unique Chanel bags. I think that those are the ones that really sing. That's not to take away from like a classic flat bag. It's a classic flat bag. You're gonna use it all the time or whatever. And they are special in their own right, but I find like the one offs at Chanel just like a little bit more fun. So this bag has like the chain handles and then it has this detachable shoulder strap. So I can wear this bag crossbody. And then let me just show you the interior. It has one leather patch pocket and then it does have a key ring strap so let me model this for you so here it is crossbody isn't that so much fun i just think it's so great and this material is kind of like a like a nylon twill so it has like a really sporty sporty feel to it which i like and it is black and white. At first I thought it was navy and white, but it is actually black and white, which goes with my wardrobe really, really well. And the hardware is the champagne gold, which is my favorite from Chanel because I feel like it can go kind of silver, it can go kind of gold. It straddles both metals, so I think it can go with either really nicely. So this is the Coco Beach bag that I got. And then I did take some footage of the other stripe bag that was available. So they transferred both in for me since I really just, I like the stripes, that's really what caught my eye. They transferred both uh, models in for me and the other one was like a large hobo. I was hoping it was gonna look a little bit more like a bum bag, but it really was a hobo. It was kind of flat, it was very like crescent shaped. Um, I 
yeah, I was really hoping that it was gonna be flatter on the back side more than just the bottom. But anyway, a really cute hobo bag. They call it the large hobo bag. It wasn't actually that big. It was smaller than this. So I'm not sure why they called it the large hobo bag, but it is uh, really cute. I was debating on that one. And then uh, my client advisor there said, do you wanna see some bags that just came in? And she did bring out some crossbody style like bum bags. Uh, one in like a really beautiful cream color and then one in a pink color. The pink, definitely not for me, but the cream was a lot of fun. It just had like, there was a lot going on. There was like a little pearl strap hanging down and then Chanel, like the letters were hanging down uh, and the Chanel was like, crystal embossed. I was like, okay, this is really pretty, but just a, it's kind of a lot. Like it was a really fancy crossbody bum bag, which the juxtaposition of that is very interesting, but it just really wasn't my style. So I passed on those and just got this. So I did also buy a pair of Chanel shoes and these shoes I actually purchased uh, on an earlier trip to Chanel, but just like last week. So I thought I would do this all together. I saw these shoes on the shelves at Chanel and I don't think I have like made a beeline to a pair of shoes quite as quickly as I did when I saw these. I have them on so I'm just gonna show them to you modeled. These are crystal covered Mary Janes with the bow tie detail. Are these not just the cutest? They're flat. They're comfortable, they are true to size. Um, these are a 38 and a half, and I generally take a 38 and a half. Here is more of an aerial view and a, probably a clearer view of the crystals. Oh my God, aren't they so cute? I will take them off my feet so you can get a closer look at them. But here they are modeled. The crystals go all the way around and they're even on the little stack heel. And they happen to go really well with the outfit that I put on today. <laughs> Didn't even mean it. But I can see myself wearing these with pants, obviously, skirts, dresses, maybe even like dressy shorts. So cute. So the strap is leather. It's not elastic, so you do have to unbuckle the strap every time you wanna put on and take off the shoe. So it's just a typical buckle. But I really come to like the flats with the Mary Jane strap where the strap is elastic so you don't have to like undo or do anything to just slip them on. <laughs> okay, here they are up close. And what I did wanna show you, which maybe you couldn't see while they were on my feet, Crystal is on the heel here. And the base fabric that all these crystals are on is like a silk satin. What I also wanted to show you was that this bow slides off if you don't feel like the bow and then the strap actually has the crystals on it as well. So you can wear them plain if you want. It did of course come with the shoe bags. So these shoes are part of the 24A collection. I just wanted to show you the side of the box. So here's all the style numbers you know, if you wanted to request it from your client advisor, this I think is all the information that you'll need. I'll try and remember to put it down below in the description box. But I think if you just tell them, you know, bow tie Mary Janes with the crystals, they'll probably know what you're talking about. But I have noticed that Chanel is coming out with quite a few Mary Jane styles. They have the Mary Jane with like all the different medallions on them. I think there's like five of them. One of them may be like pearl. I tried that on, those were really comfortable, but the only pair that my boutique had was of the black leather, and I just didn't like it. They have versions that are tweed, which I really want, but I think those are coming out. I think some have come out, but I think more are coming out for like the fall collection. So I'm just waiting for those. I really want a pair of the tweed. Again, I find like the tweed to just be a little bit more special than like the plain black leather, even though I bet those would be really, really practical. Like you could wear them with anything. I wonder if I could like slip this onto a necklace and actually wear it as a bow tie. I bet I could. But for now, let me put it back on the shoe. <laughs> so that's what I picked up at Chanel. So, so excited for these. They're just so much fun. Like I said, I'm really enjoying like the one-off things from Chanel or the things that are like not part of their classic line. 
really finding a lot of enjoyment in those. Uh, anyway, so that is it. And I will make a video just summarizing all of the Prada stuff that's coming up soon. Uh, definitely subscribe down below if you're enjoying this content. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video.